Do you want to improve at building in Minecraft, but every time you try, you end up building this? Well, today I am here to help you get better, and today I'm going to be giving you my seven top tips for improving your builds in Minecraft. And this is not just for houses, this can be for all types of builds. And whether you are new to building or advanced, I guarantee you will be able to take something away from this video and improve your building. So guys, let's get to tip number one. Now, tip number one has to do with symmetry, which we all know is a very complicated topic in building, but right here we have this little house that is perfectly symmetrical on all sides, even the decorations, just symmetrical, except those leaves on the bottom, I guess. But what you want to do is resist symmetry in your build most of the time and build something similar to this, you know, pop, you know, something jutting out on the side, but not on the other side, a tower on one side, but not on the other. It adds a complicated look to the build. See how this one looks much more complicated than this one, not only because there's more blocks in it, but because there's more asymmetry, meaning it's a little bit more complicated. There's other things. So resist doing the same thing on every side of the build. Try and do some variations, switch it up and incorporate different parts onto different sides of the build. So guys, let's get into tip number two. Also, I forgot to mention this video might be slightly rushed, but that's because I just recorded the entire thing and my mic was muted. So I'm a little frustrated, but it is what it is, guys. Here we are at tip number two, and it has to do with block palettes. Here are examples of block palettes. What you wanna do, what tip number two is, is to use at least three different blocks in your block palettes. Right here we have spruce and stone, quartz and brick, Bruce and Oak, and these are bad examples. We're gonna take these and, you know, level them up a little bit instead of just Spruce and Stone. Maybe we incorporate some tough or variations of stone and then use a copper roof. Instead of quartz and brick, we mix some, you know, granite into the brick and then use mud as the roof or something like that. And here's the third example, guys. So use at least three different blocks in your block palettes. Don't use, you know, just two or three build blocks in your builds. Make it a little more complicated. It'll make the whole build look better as a whole. Let's go to tip number three. Now tip number three has to do with this little log cabin right here and I do have a tutorial for this on my channel if you want to you know build this yourself but this is just an example of what you need to do in a you know more flat biome which is incorporated into the biome. This is just pasted down right here very boring. Wow, sorry, that was annoying. Very boring. Just paste it into the world. You need to incorporate an environment. So tip number three is landscape to incorporate environment into this build. Now, I'm going to take you to an example of exactly what I mean. As you can see right here, the same exact build, but it looks so much better. It's up on a hill, it's got flowers and leaves and rocks. There's trees around it, incorporating it into the biome, tucking it back in the trees a little bit looks much better than just pasting it down in a flat area, guys. So tip number three, landscape around your builds. Now, tip number four has gotten very popular over the last couple of years, and that is going to be gradients. Whoops, too many times. <laughs> gradients, guys. So using gradients in your builds to add depth or color or shading, these are super useful. And here's two of my favorite examples, the whites, the grays, and then the blues and greens, guys. These are Beautiful. And I'll take you to an example of how you can incorporate a gradient into your builds just like these. Without the gradient in this build, these would just be two boring wooden pillars, but now it looks much more complicated, much more detailed. It looks like the water in the river is eroding the bottoms of the towers. It just makes the whole build look a little more alive and different. And I just love the way it looks, especially in this build right here. So here's just an example of how it could be incorporated, especially into towers, which is my favorite time. It's gradients. But let's move on. Tip number five is going to be use small details to break up flat areas. For example, the flag and the chimney. Incorporate that into your roofs that are boring and flat. Break it up. Make it look more complicated. And planters for walls or you know, windows or something on the side of your build, toss in some plants, some leaves, some planters, some pots, who knows what, just to break it up, make it look a little more complicated, bring some life into your build. So tip number five is use small details to break up boring areas of the build, guys. So here's just a few examples, and I'm sure you can find many, many more, and I do have a video on detailing builds. So you can also go check that out if you need more examples. Let's go to the last two tips. The second to last tip, guys, is to use different roof shapes. Now, this incorporates mainly to builds like this, houses. So, use different shapes. See, for example, this roof up here, we have it slanted at the top. 
and it curves out to the side right here. You can see it's not just straight up and down, but then this roof over here is straight across the top and it's flat on this side. So just varying your roof shape in houses can add slight differences and changes to the build, again, making it look more complicated. And when it comes to roof shape, you can also add things like slabs and stairs, to make it look a little more broken up and varying just to add that slight bit of detail. And that's gonna be tip number six, guys. Wow, I'm bad with the perspectives today and the zooming, but let's move to the last tip, which is arguably the most important. The final tip for today's video is to step out of your comfort zone and try new things. For example, this build right here. What a strange little roof, but I just started placing blocks through this together and it ended up coming into a really cool looking little shack. I actually built this in a survival world of mine. Let me know if you saw the series, but guys, step out of your comfort zone for building or you're never going to learn new things. You're going to start building the same things over and over and get bored really quick. So step out of your comfort zone, try new things and explore what you can do with different blocks. And that's gonna be it from me today, guys. Sorry if it felt a little bit rushed, but like I said, I did record this twice, unfortunately. Things like that just do happen sometimes, but I hope you enjoyed. Let me know what you wanna see next from me, and I will see you guys then. Peace out.